Uh, earlier today, we responded to the call of a male that was shot um, at the corner behind me. Um, he was in the front yard. At this time, our information is really limited. Uh, he was a male adult in his 20s. Um, he was alive when he left here by ambulance. And right now, that is about all we have. Okay. Obviously, uh, you have a lot of uh, area cordoned off. The purpose for that? The purpose for that is to search for anything of evidentiary value. Uh, in a case for this where you don't have a lot to go on, does it make it more difficult? Take more time to go over everything? Yes, it does, um, which is why we have so many resources out here searching for anything that we can find. Um, also, we're looking for any witness statements, anybody who saw anything, anybody who heard anything, anybody that can give us more information to help us develop leads and help us in our investigation. And um, is there any indication that it was self-inflicted? No. So you don't you don't believe it? At the time, we do not believe it was a self-inflicted gunshot. Okay. Should the general public be concerned that there's a gunman on the loose? Um, they should be using standard precautions, um, as always, being aware of their surroundings. Um, as of right now, we don't know what a motivation for the shooting was. Okay. And, and you told me the call came out just a little after 4.30. What were some of the precautions that were taken? Um, as far as? Like school lockdowns, uh, notifying neighbors, that kind of thing. Um, one of the schools uh, a couple blocks away was put in a lockdown, even though it was after school hours or still after school activities. Um, it's just one of the precautions that the schools and the police department use in order to keep our kids safe. Um, from there we posted security so the parents can come get their children out.